All right, Stephen, we are just getting word right now from DPS on the names of those involved. Let me tell you what I've been told from Lieutenant Johnny Hernandez. Again, just coming in right now. Rafael Garza is a 72 year old male who was killed. Catalina Garza, the 69 year old female from Port Isabel. They both were killed in the Ford expedition. Abraham Cerda is the name of the 23 year old man from Brownsville who was driving the Cadillac Escalade in the wrong direction, also dead at the scene. Again, we'll have more for you at 6 o'clock. Right now, a man is behind bars in connection with a homicide investigation in Edinburgh. A man was found shot to dead in his car. CBS 4's Imelda Mejia just learned new details in this case. Imelda? Marcy and Eddie, 37 year old Juan David Garcia was arraigned this afternoon on capital murder charges. But also on this day, the Hidalgo County Sheriff tells me his investigators put another man in custody for confessing to the involvement of the murder of Anastasio Rocha. On Monday, May 8th at about 11 p.m., Hidalgo County Sheriff's deputies were dispatched to an area of heavy brush near Gladiola Drive, located north of 14 Mile Line on Big Five Road in rural Edinburgh. When deputies arrived at the scene, they discovered the body of a male, later identified as 37-year-old Anastasio Rocha, on the ground near a car. Rocha had what appeared to be at least one gunshot wound to the head. An autopsy later revealed that Rocha died from the gunshot wound caused by someone else. Investigators discovered that the victim was at a home at the 3800 block of Segura Mendoza Drive 20 minutes before his vehicle ended up at the scene where his body was found. Deputies also found cocaine, handguns, projectiles, and casings at the suspect's home. Upon investigating, deputies determined that the victim and the suspect were both in the trucking business. Deputies determined that Garcia murdered Rocha in order to steal half a kilo of cocaine from him, worth about nine thousand dollars in the black market. The Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office says that during interviews, Garcia and the other suspect confessed to being involved with the murder of Rocha. Garcia is currently in custody with an eight hundred thousand dollar bond. Outside the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office, email the Mejia, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Police also say Garcia has a lengthy criminal history and is associated with street gangs. The other suspect is expected to be arraigned on criminal murder charges on Saturday.